Interest, hello, Principal Skinner. It's nice to see you again. Pride, thank you, Superintendent Chalmers. It's always a pleasure to host you. Curiosity, what kind of wine are you serving today? Hospitality, I have a selection of red and white wines for you to choose from. Appreciation, thank you. I'll have a glass of the red, please. What the hell? I can't believe you burned my El Schultzia Ciliata, Skinner exclaims, looking down at the charred plant. Oh, I was counting on this to be my pride and joy. Skinner paces back and forth, trying to figure out what to do next. This is just great. One burnt El Schultzia Ciliata, and now I have to start all over again. Thanks a lot, Apollo. Skinner's frustration is palpable as they try to come up with a solution to the problem. Fine. Forget it. I'll just have to start over. But mark my words, Apollo, this isn't the last you'll hear this. Skinner storms off, determined to make the most of a difficult situation. I see a shop that sells Grazalema. That would be a great substitute for the burnt El Schultzia Ciliata. I have a devilish plan. I need to prepare this substitute. Let me think. How can I obtain this ingredient and climb back in through the window? I know. I'll ask the shopkeeper for some Grazalema, then climb back in through my window with it. Yes, that will work. This new dish will be even better than the original. I can't wait to try it out. All right, let's do this. I'm going to get some Grazalema and bring it home. It's time for a new culinary adventure. Skinner enters the shop and talks to the shopkeeper about where he can find the best Grazalema and how to prepare it. After obtaining the ingredient, Skinner climbs back in through his window, excited to start cooking. He starts preparing the dish, incorporating the Grazalema into his recipe. As he cooks, the aroma fills the room and he can't wait to taste the final product. Skinner, what the hell is going on here? Hey, man. I'm making a steamed version of El Schultzia Ciliata. The smoke you're smelling is just steam. Steam? That doesn't even make sense. You know I'm not buying this tall tale. I'm telling the truth. You just don't want to believe me because you're always looking for a reason to doubt me. Skinner, I know your tricks by now. Stop trying to pull a fast one on me. You really think I'm making this up? Yeah, I do. Now, can you please just stop with the nonsense and tell me what's actually going on? Fine. I accidentally set off the fire alarm instead of the steam machine. Oh, thank God. I thought you were trying to serve me smoke for dinner. Sorry about that, Chalmers. My mistake. My mistake. Just be more careful next time, all right? That yeah, will do. Sorry for the confusion. Skinner, what's with this meal? It tastes off. But don't worry, it still tastes great. Um, all right. Uh, but next time, try to be more careful. Sure thing, I will. Thanks for understanding. What the hell is going on here? Look at that fire in the kitchen. Oh, it's just a sonic boom. Don't worry about it. Uh, sonic boom in the kitchen, that doesn't make any sense. I know what I'm talking about. Let's not make a big deal out of this. All right, you're not going to convince me with that weak excuse. I want to see for myself. No, no, no. We can't go in there right now. Our favorite animals need us. I'll take care of the fire. You go check on our pets. I don't 
don't think this is a good idea, Skinner. I know, but we have to do it. We can't back down now. Are you sure? This seems too risky. We have to take risks if we want to succeed. Let's just get it over with. All right, let's do this. We'll face whatever comes our way together.